Geppetto's wooden puppet Pinocchio was cursed with a nose that grew every time he told a lie. Had he been a real boy, his nose would have known only one rival in the pages of history, and that of Thomas Wettis. Thomas Wettis had no idea that he would become something of an internet sensation, nearly 300 years after his death. Thomas Wettis was a circus performer in the 18th century. A wax statue of the man is a major attraction at Ripley's Believe It of Not Museum. Meet the real-life Pinocchio, at 19 centimeters, this 18th century man had the longest nose in history. Guinness World Records, GWR, cites that Wettis lived in England during the 1770s and was part of a traveling circus troupe. Wettis was posthumously awarded the title of man with the longest nose. According to GWR Records, a Turkish individual named. A photo of Weta began circulating the internet when a Twitter-based meme account called Historic Vids shared the photo on the handle on November 12th. They wrote, at Thomas Wadhouse, Weta's stage name, Zand. The circus performer who lived in England in the 18th century is now going viral on social media for his unusually long nose. Wettis, who lived in the early 18th century, had a schnoz that supposedly measured seven and a half inches long. Or if you prefer the metric system, 19 centimeters. Such a nose would be considered an extreme case of hypertrophy. Wettis were recorded in the Guinness Book of Records with a nose length of 19 centimeters. There are historical records that Thomas Wettis, who lived in England in the 1770s and was a member of a traveling freak circus, had a nose 19 centimeters 7.5 inches long was shared in the Guinness Book of Records. Thomas Wettis, also known as Thomas Wadhouse, born in Yorkshire, England, around 1730, was a performer in various circus sideshows in the mid-18th century. He is mainly known for having the longest nose in the world, supposedly measuring 20 centimeters in length. Aside from his unusual appearance, little is known about Wettis' life. Articles at the time commented that he appeared to be intellectually disabled, referring to him as an idiot due to an unknown condition, perhaps related to his unusual facial deformity. He died around 1780 in Yorkshire, aged 50 or 52. Guinness World Records has posthumously named him the world's longest nose. A waxhead reproduction of him is in Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum. By examining the photographs of the statue taken from different angles, we can determine that the statue is on display at the Titicaca Museum through the different works included in the frame. Another statue seen behind the statue in different photographs is also displayed in this museum. Wettis is in the record books with his long nose. The wax figure is by Thomas Wettis. Wettis is also known as Thomas Wadhouse.